Welcome in everyone. Today we are going to do a trade recap on Netflix from 11 to 2023. So we're going to go over the watch list, go over the flow and go over the trade and the movement on the contracts again for everybody to see. So let's get started here. Going to try to make this slow or a little quicker for everybody just so I know everybody has things to do, but let's just do a nice quick recap for everyone. So starting out here, as you can see, this was our um, watch list. So Microsoft was a Discord only idea, but Netflix was public. So, and Netflix is the one that actually ran and triggered. But we're gonna kind of touch. I'm just gonna show Microsoft a little bit, not dive too deep because it didn't trigger. But so this was our setup for the day. We had um, the 4225425 call, less than 4:1733. So let's move over to the chart here and. Here is Netflix. So again, here is our entry at 4.1773. And we actually had two bounces here. We only took the first one here. I actually did end up scratching it after this just because we got a nice return. This was um, an 80% return actually here. But then we saw the market kind of pulling back and I decided to scratch it, which I mean, obviously hindsight is 2020, but that second move was really massive but let's just cover that first move here so that 422.5 call so here's our entry triggered here it was a very quick trigger i actually didn't fill there but i filled here so kind of go with this one so 835 here and again i'm central time for those that want to go back and check the contracts so the 422.5 call here so here we are 11.2 and here we are at 8.35 so here's our entry about 199 and with contracts I typically like to find more contracts with open interest and this is kind of a pricier contract the 425 was a little cheaper I originally would have liked to go with that um, 427.5 but you can see there wasn't a lot of open interest which I mean we did get good volume on it today. I mean, you come over here and look, I mean, 2.5K, that's good enough volume on that. But without it, there being open interest, I try to stay away from that just in case. But so back to the 422.5 call here. So here is our entry here. So we could have gotten about 199 here and we shot right back up. So this was the top of the range there to 347. So that actually, so about, we'll say 189 or well, depend, depending on when you get in and spreads are a little wider on Netflix too. So just kind of depending on when you get in with that and all that. So we'll um, go 195 here. I mean, just kind of depends, but you see that bounce up and very, very quick, easy trade. So about 195, we'll say to, and again, this touched 344-ish, 45-ish. So, I mean, that's about a 76% return, 75%. And again, if we would have kept the second bounce on, there's your entry. So would have went a little about 195-ish again, and I mean, back up to five dollars per contract i mean but again that was scratched so but still i like to review trades no matter what if they're winners losers whatever so could have kept that on but hey this is a great trade idea there so and that was on the 4225 calls so right there for those that want to check that so 425 call now come over here and again about the same this was the one that probably most people took so about a 133 entry 132 entry and right up and peaked at 237 there 237 238 ish so about 80 percent there on that move and again that second move was a lot better than the first but just reviewing it too i mean you could have 133 and touched about 380 at the high so but you're not going to hold to the peak ever i mean odds of exiting the top especially when you're seeing pullbacks like this you're not going to give up a 337 
to a almost a dollar per contract, you're gonna your stops should be hitting and you should be securing profit. I mean, even here, I mean, probably I did actually kind of size out a little bit here. You see that pullback and shoots up, but again, that's the full range of the trade. So, and Microsoft as everybody seeing so we had microsoft there at 344.64 this didn't trigger but and this was a late scratch just because i didn't like how it was really choppy in the open just i was like i don't like the chop we'll scratch it but again missed by seven cents there and we're not going to dive too deep into this one but i mean the projections are right on target that's that's the main thing for me is i if i have to scratch a trade that's okay just as long as the projections are on target. So that is that. But let's go over the flow now for um, Netflix here. So this was our flow for Netflix. And I do always post a flow breakdown with everything. But I will kind of go over it a little bit. Kind of just re-go over everything with the flow here. So again, we had four blocks of trades here that stuck out to me. And this is from 11.1, obviously. So... You had all these 420 calls coming in. Look how close they're coming to close. I mean, within a minute before close. And we had a 430 come in there too. And again, these are in the money. Well, at the time they weren't in the money, but this is, I mean, something that sticks out. And they're only two days to expiration. So they would have been the weeklies. So you have Theta Decay and Netflix closed actually at... Yesterday, Netflix closed at 419. So these are out of the money. So keep in mind, Theta is aggressive on the weeklies this late in the week. So back to the flow here. We also had a flow alert come in here. Again, in the money, but nothing super deep in the money. And again, you are still exposed when you're in the money. You have to, I mean, you you can lose. I mean, if Netflix tank, you're going to lose money. You can exercise if this person had this many shares, but again, more than likely you're still directionally looking for this to go up. So again, that was a flow alert also. So same timing, about the same size, pretty big pre premium there. So it's kind of the flow alert there that stuck out 16 days. So this whale had some time on these and also three seconds before the flow alert, which just taking an educated guess, this is probably the same person. All the premium and everything. I mean, very educated guess. You can't 100% say for certain just because it's off, but educated guess, it, it is the same person. And then we also had these four tens that expired this week as well. So that was kind of the flow breakdown I had there for that. And again, I mean, wonderful, easy trade idea, easy execution, and... I know a lot of people took profits on this and happy for those that did. And that is all I kind of have for everybody tonight and look forward to doing more of these trade recaps as well. Have a good night, everyone.